This is Doug Johnson with Acumatica. In this video, we're going to take a look at using OData with Power BI. The process is going to be similar to a previous video where we introduced data from Acumatica inquiries to Excel. Except in this case, we're going to use Power BI. Power BI is going to give us a slightly richer user experience. It's going to allow us to share our data online and it's going to provide language-driven queries to make it a little easier to create nice graphs and charts. With the current version of Power BI, there's no direct OData link. So we're going to create a Power BI designer file. To generate the Power BI designer file, Microsoft provides a desktop utility. I'm going to use the utility to open an existing report that we used in our last video. The first time we gathered data, we went to this area called Get Data and selected the OData feed. Now the OData feed is generated from the Acumatica generic inquiries that are exposed via OData. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and copy my URL and I'm going to add OData plus Revision 2 since it's a multi-tenant application. At this point, it returns all the different queries that have been exposed, and I can select the ones that I want to bring in. Since I've already brought in data, we already have these three queries defined. As needed, I can refresh the queries. Once I have all my data, I can go easily create reports. Reports are areas where I can go slice and dice the different Acumatica data to produce visualizations. So for example, if I wanted to add a new page, the total sales by state. Now if I wanted to, I could easily convert that to a map. At this point I can save my file and it now becomes available to the Power BI utility online. So now I can log into Power BI and take a look at my data online. Since we just created a new data set, let's go at it. You can see that I can add a number of different types of data. As we mentioned earlier, the ability to add O data for directly from this menu does not exist yet. So we're going to add the Power BI designer file we just created. We go in and we're going to connect it. So now that I have all my data in Power BI, I can go create visually stimulating reports, such as total sales by state. And I can do that as a map. If I need to, I can pin this to a dashboard. First I'll save the name for my report. So now I've created a report with this graph. And my report, you can see, shows up here in my report section. I also pinned that to my dashboard so if I go to Acumatica demo data you can see that there's my new report that I have by state. The other interesting thing you can do with Power BI is you can get data through English language to read. I could pull up budgeted sales for 2015 I can pull up the sales forecasts for all years. As you can see, you can get to the data typing your queries in numerous different ways. And then if I wanted to, I could also go total sales by state for 2015 as map. So that's a quick demonstration of how you can use Power BI to gain access to Acumatica data and present it in an easy to create and user friendly manner. Thank you for watching.